Podcast listeners, it is I, Golden Jay, hanging out tonight with three time podcasting favorite Chico Noise and two time podcasting Jedi. It is the Skywalker. Gentlemen, good to see you on Golden Image Podcast. What's going on? I need to get the lightsaber and just put it over here. <laughs> Just accessible. <laughs> Mine's right there if you need it. Oh wait, <laughs> <A> different room. <laughs> <laughs> just just walk over there and grab it. It's right right over there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Terrible, you guys. <laughs> Got you. We'll just put a sound effect in. <laughs> Great. Now I have something else I need to do. Son of a guy. <laughs> Well, boys, what's been going on? It's been a couple of weeks since we've uh, gotten together for the old podcast. What have you guys been up to? I know the Skywalker's been hanging out on his roof. Roof, yeah. I heard. I heard. Sounds like fun. <laughs> we moved the podcast room from the basement to the breezeway because we're like, well, the breezeway is just more um, visually appealing than our basement, right? Yeah, yeah. And of course, the roof leaks. <laughs> <laughs> just a long list of things going wrong and well you know how it is man when you're a homeowner it's just it's a constant uh it's a constant thing chico's still uh brand new but uh he'll he'll, he'll run across that i wouldn't say brand new well it's been almost three true. years i've owned a house <laughs> that's true that's true <laughs> but this house you're in now is still relatively new and all the bugs should have been working out before they sold it. So no, hopefully they will just, pop up. It doesn't work that way either. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's true. A... How, how long were you in your house before you had to rip out the entire septic in your front yard? Yeah. What? Uh, a week. Mm. That is. That? It's, it's, that's so weird. I'll never understand that. $16,000 later. Uh, fun, fun, fun. Well, knock on wood, my septic is still good. <laughs> Just remember, for wood. buying a house is a trap. Just rent. <laughs> yeah, there you go. If something goes wrong, have you to just, fix everything for you. You just call them up and be like, come fix this shit. Damn, well, come on, man. Get over here and fix it. I don't know, man. Uh, you know, it's a constant thing. You're constantly fixing, repairing, changing. You know, it is what it is. You know, we uh, we were lucky enough to have uh, a couple of days this uh, last week, including today, where we had nice, uh, nice weather. Went out, worked on the deck, finished the steps up. Um, old Fat Billy Ray stopped in for a visit. So, <laughs> you know, he fat. said. Fat Billy Ray rents. So that is Fat Billy Ray approved. He told me that on our long track to Dallas on our way back. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he's got a hell of a deal going on down there. And, uh, I would never, I told him I wouldn't, I would never in my, in my wildest dreams move out of that house. So he's got a real good deal. But yeah, he said the deck was Fat Billy Ray approved. <laughs> nice. It is nice. It's getting there. I, I'm excited to, uh, uh, you know, of course, your mom's like, uh, you need to get the list and the new the rest of the wood order. And let's get this thing going. I'm like, okay. I still can't get used to walking out that house without a step. <laughs> <laughs> well, God, for almost 30 years, we walked out and had a step. You know, it's it's kind of, yeah. it's still a little, little different. But I like, man, I like that deck. And, and she's on the hunt now. She wants a. What is that? One of those fire pit tables, kind of like the one that Dawn and Dan has. The you know, it's like a regular size table with the burners down the middle. So that's what she's going to be on the hunt on for. The hunt. 
Yeah. That'll be exciting. Nice. And then, then we got to build the bar, but all the steps are almost done. So I'm pretty excited about that. Very nice. Yeah. What is your next project, Chico? Uh, getting this room done. I bought the paint today. Oh, so snap. I got the paint and I just, I got all this stuff to, I had to get more rollers cause I was out of rollers from painting the rest of the house. So, yep. Getting all this, uh, the floor covered and painting the walls and start hanging stuff. Found some shelving I want to put in here for back behind me. Right on. Got some shelves running up, put my posters up. <laughs> Move my desk, hang my TV. That's my second monitor and dang. It's all planned. It's just gotta just gotta happen. Well, do it while you have the cool while you have the cooler days that you know you don't feel guilty about not you know being outside when it's warm. Oh, uh, we got we got outside projects too. I gotta build some some big planter boxes and put up our greenhouse and yeah. I'm gonna start growing some some veggies. <laughs> All right. You're going to uh, grow some jalapenos? Oh, yeah. There you go. On the list. Yeah, if you have any uh, scrap wood from that deck, you're not. You're just going to throw away. I'll take it. All right. There's there's some... I don't know that it's going to be big enough to do what you want to do, but... I'll figure it out. I've been, uh, I've been trying to do my due diligence so that I'm not leaving a lot of, lot of uh, pieces, you know what I mean? Use up as much as I possibly can. Freaking wood is expensive. Mm-hmm. So that it is. How about you, Sky? What do you got? Uh, what's in What's in your uh, summer plans for outside? Or you know, I'm just looking forward to getting out of the house and spending some time on the river. <laughs> That's all I want to do right now. <laughs> Listen, man, we're talking about house projects, not river projects. If I get to regrout my chimney. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds exciting. No, oh, it's it's gonna be terrifying. <laughs> hey, speaking speaking of getting out of the house and doing stuff, was Brookfield Zoo one of the zoos you've been to? Is that the one up in Michigan City? No, it's no, Chicago. It's Chicago. I think we went to Lincoln Park Zoo. Okay. If I remember right. I think Lincoln Park is the free one. Gotcha. Because yeah. I heard some really good things about Brookfield and I'm thinking that that's gonna be a trip this this up spring, so the last time that I was at Brookfield Zoo, I was probably about seven. As you say, is Brookfield the one that's downtown, or is it the one that's on like in Rosemont? It's on the west. It's on the there. southwest side. I, there's sure. no way. I, I don't even. I couldn't even tell Lincoln you exactly. Park, what Lincoln I, Park's downtown, right? Yeah, but they have two zoos downtown, from what I remember, if I remember right. I could be wrong. It's been a hot minute. Last time we were up there, Aspen would have been two. Dang. And we took a day trip with Kenny and Megan. Dang. Who's that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the name you don't hear much. When's the last time you've seen them? Uh, The wedding. Really? Yep. Dang. You really ought to think about uh, hanging out with them. And then there was a quiet pause. <laughs> it is in Brookfield. It's in Brookfield. It's the, ta- the, the Brookfield Zoo. Yep. It's in Brookfield. Yep. Is that like a suburb of Chicago? Uh, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Once again, it's been forever since I've been there, so I have no idea. Yep. So that's one of our, one of our trips we're going to do this, this year. So right on. You'll like it. They have the, they still have the dolphin show and all that stuff there. No clue. Oh, I thought you researched it. I haven't. I heard it was really, really good. It was like a, one of those zoos that will take you all day to get to see everything. So yeah, you'd be wore out. And then you had, then you got that three hour drive home. That might be a hotel stay in Chicago. <laughs> Hey, why don't you just hit up Tom and see if he and his bum his apartment for the night? There you go. 
Make a like, weekend come on. of it. Go up, check out Lincoln Park Zoo then too. See, you got a plan. We'll make the plan for you. It's okay. Now I'll just stick with the one in college. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like that sounds like a better deal. I think you'd be tired of looking at a bunch of animals by the time you're do two or three zoos in a in a weekend. Yeah. Although there is shed aquarium up there. Can't go wrong with shed. You gotta love shed. Yeah. It's been a while no. since we've been there. Yeah, it has since the whole King Tut thing. Have you guys been back since King Tut? Skylar has. When did you go back yeah. to shed? In case you can't hear it, listeners, the squirrel is running. Uh, <laughs> <Did think>. he... <laughs> you can hear the squeak. It was for one of our anniversaries. We went up, we did the shed, and then we came back through and hit blue chip on the way back. So it right was on. after I turned 21. But that's still nine years <laughs> of time that... <laughs> Eight years uh, because Jess would have been 21. I was going to say, yeah, your wife had to be 21 too, didn't she? Yeah. Or just leave her in the car and go to gamble for a few oh, hours. And... I would totally do that too. 100%. Uh, yeah. Just stay here, babe. I'll be back. I'm taking the keys with me. It, 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 yeah. I'll roll the windows down. You'll be all right. Oh. <laughs> uh. uh. That's good stuff. At least leave the car running with the heat on because, you know, that was in February. Oh, well, I didn't know for sure, but uh, I didn't I didn't think you'd want to leave her with the car. The car keys, she'd leave you up there. And then how do you get home? Just put her in the back seat, a couple blankets. And... <laughs> I can nap, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, here, drink this night, Cole. You'll be fine. <laughs> hey you know what they say chloroform the one you love i was on tiktok yesterday and i watched a guy chloroform himself it was just the funniest thing i've ever seen he chloroformed himself yeah he's like check this out and he dumped the chloroform on a rag and then held it up to his face and then pulled away he's like i'm fine and then fell and smacked his head on the <laughs> cat <laughs> And you didn't share that one? Uh, I thought I sent it to somebody, but I don't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good old TikTok. You just can't go wrong. That's a fucking rabbit hole that nobody wants to should be able to go down. But good Lord, I could spend hours watching TikTok. Scan for the next Un- yes, unfortunately, I'm not really a, a, the whole cameos or the duet things. I'm not all, all, all excited about some of you. Some of them are pretty messed up. You can't see all the one video and kind of irritates yeah. me. I just scan that's, through them. That's how and the- I'll tell you, and I'll tell you right now, I cannot pause quick enough. <laughs> Dad's on a special side of TikTok. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. What? Do you ever try it? You ever try to pause in that right spot? Who hasn't? <laughs> <laughs> Both of you are like, yes, yes, we have. Yes, we have. It's, Who did, you, hasn't? did anybody ever get it? Nope. Maybe. I end up liking and disliking the fucking video <laughs> like 10 times. It's like, oh, fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of those things. If you don't get it the first time, you just move on. <laughs> Not worth the try. I listen to. I listen to it. I listen to it because it's always music. There's always music, and you're like trying to key in on the music, and the, then the either the vocal or the beat, you know. And you're like, okay. And then as soon as you see it, you're like, okay, it's right after that. And then it's like, oh fuck. And, oh, I like the video. So take that off. There. <laughs> <laughs> I'll consider liking the video if I hit the pause at the right time. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Can they make them just a split second longer? I mean, they're pretty quick. And they're really not showing anything. I mean, come on. Let's face it. Yeah, watch out for those guidelines. Oh, dark, man. Side, dark side of TikTok. I like the dark side. I live on the dark side. Because I am your father. <laughs> so during 
COVID, when everybody was on quarantine, <laughs> I think I have Daredevil looking at me. Um, me and Alicia He's were blind. both on the paranormal side of TikTok, and we just send them back and forth to each other. All the time. All the time. Some creepy, creepy videos on there. There are a lot of creepy videos on TikTok. <laughs> there are some that, yeah. And then there's some of those that really irked the piss out of me that, that like, it was like, oh, you ain't going to believe what we found. And then they spend like 20 minutes walking through the woods and then the video stops. And you're like, oh, I did that. Like dude, for part two. I? Like what? Like for part two. <laughs> there is no part two. Is that what you guys bought yesterday? Yes. That's all I bought yesterday, too. <laughs> well, let's talk about that. Let's get off this TikTok, this TikTok nonsense. Oh, yeah. It's not the only thing that was bought yesterday. Oh, is that the Indiana, Indiana whiskey, whiskey company? Whiskey. Yep. Uh, we, as uh, as uh, as an, in, individuals, and all ended up there at the same time, and made it to this year's 2023 Hall of Heroes Comic Con, and we're going to talk about that today on Golden Image Podcast. Crazy to think sure. about that it's been a year. I yeah. know, right? Everything said is there. Everything's got a year. Everything's at its year marks. Yeah. Year marks, year marks, year marks, year marks. Um, I was going to say something. I forgot what it was. So go ahead. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Where do we start? <laughs> we, uh, uh, yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> we're very, uh, we're very, um, you know, collected and, uh, and prepared for tonight's show. So, we're just going to chat and have a good time and talk about the Hall of Heroes and uh, maybe uh, the restaurant that me and Gunner and the group went to after uh, Hall of Heroes. So I'm telling you, there's a place that you want to go, go check out. And we will talk about it here in a little bit. But first, hey, yeah, that's right. Last year, we all went up to the Hall of Heroes Comic Con. Last year's Comic Con was my first. Uh, this year, um, we took Sarah and uh, Bobby with us, met up with Billy and Tina up there, um, Skylar and Roy and uh, Nick and Amanda were there, uh, Aspen, and um, I'm going to say it wrong. Roy's Kyrie. daughter. What is it? <clears throat> Kyrie. 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 I, I knew I was going to say it wrong. Sorry. Uh, we're all hanging out up there along with, you know, just about what, 10,000 of our closest friends. <laughs> no joke. It was insanely packed. Uh, it wasn't that busy last year. That's for sure. So mm. they're definitely, um, they're definitely, you know, making strides as far as, uh, the people showing up to it. So I'm, I'm pretty happy for them there. Uh, this year was a little, in my opinion, you know, uh, not quite as good of a panel group as it was last year, but still the man, the Hulk Lou Ferrigno was there. And uh, that dude is still freaking built. Like you wouldn't believe he's not, I don't think he's as big and big as like a tall as he used to be. He's definitely shrunk a little bit, I think, but um, he still uh, had the muscle mass, man. I, he, I just watched him do some poses as he was taking some pictures with people. And yeah, we were going to put Roy in the ring with him, but uh, Roy said he'd just <laughs> kick his ass. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like you said, you said before we even started recording, he, Rigno has this big old gray beard going. It just doesn't, he doesn't look like the same guy, to be honest. Yeah. He, he's got a whole different person. But it was it was really cool uh, for those that know, for those that have ever been to the Hall of Heroes or have seen their commercials or uh, may have watched the news. You know, in the last couple of years, uh, like uh, Channel 16 has covered covered the uh, Comic Con in at least in the mornings when I'm watching, they'll have people out there. And, but uh, I think I can't remember when I was watching yesterday, but there was some they were interviewing um, Reb Brown. Uh, 
and you know showing some pictures and stuff from inside the con but uh hall of heroes actually has a very large statue of the hulk so it was really cool that they were able to put that statue in with lou perigno it was just badass to think about that so nicely done guys way, way to way to get that piece in over there and it was perfect although it was it was ruffalo's hulk it wasn't perigno's hulk <laughs> <laughs> oh well what was that was that uh freaking uh a big bang theory when they were talking about that uh how upset they were when they replaced ed norton's hulk but then they got mark ruffalo and and they were okay with that <laughs> i think everybody is okay i i like ruffalo a lot better as the hulk but i'm not really sure yep. about the I'm not really sure about um, what, you know, that cross between Hulk and, and Banner. What are they, does he have a special name for that Hulk? Uh, yeah. Um, I don't remember. You're talking Professor Hulk? Professor that, Hulk. There, there you go. go. There you go. I don't know that I like Professor Hulk. It just feels weird. I like Hulk smash. You know, I mix or... the bronze in the brains. <laughs> there you have it exactly so yeah uh lou ferrigno was there skyler you want to talk about the next one? Oh, my boy my boy i th- if there's one person there i wanted to meet this year it was uh johnny young bosch he's um adam from mighty Morphin power rangers ichigo from bleach uh and i mean the dude is the dude is a prolific voice actor in the anime community he's in just about anything so amazing dude but you didn't you didn't uh, go up and see him no i had both the kids with me and i was by i was there for 15 minutes and i was i was like you know what i'm ready to go i gotta admit it's it was kind of hard to push that stroller with sora in it through that through that crowd that was uh something that was kind of challenging it it has its has its benefits because if you want to be and like mean about it, you can you can use her as a battering ram and get through. <laughs> to go. Sorry, kick your feet, kick them, kick them in the shins. But I was, I mean, I got within ten feet of him and just kind of stared at him for, for a minute. But Were at you... one at one point, Roy's like, "Yeah, I was kind of just standing there listening," and he's like somebody went up to get something signed he's like you sure you don't want me to personalize it for you i'll write anything you want on it he said he was just being really polite so very cool very cool um like i said uh red brown was there who was uh i i don't know how far back but he he played captain america on tv is it the i think it's the 60s i think he played captain america at the same time fregno played the hulk right on um they interviewed him on wndu and yeah he was the same way it's like man it's so cool to be able to come out here and talk to people and you know do the you know we were lucky enough to do what we did and and here we are meeting all these people um those three lines those three lines for those three actors was oh my god they were so long for all three of them it was crazy insane how long they were. They were moving them through pretty quick, but uh I mean I last year's lines were definitely not not like that. Emma Emma Caulfield's line was real short. I don't think people realized exactly who she was or where she was from, but um these three guys, Lou and Johnny and Reb, I mean, their lines were full and they just looked thrilled, thrilled to be there, and that was pretty cool. Well, a lot of these guys, I mean, that's that's how they make their living now is going to cons and doing the meet and greets. It's at, at 60 bucks for a picture. I mean, why not? Right. Oh, I, I agree. Uh, Well, Johnny's was 60 bucks. Lou's was only 30. Was it? But, well, I mean, there was a whole laundry list of what you could get. You know, you could, you know, it's a la carte, but basically getting a signed photo of him was 30 bucks. With Johnny, it was 60 because i looked and seen uh his sign sitting there i was like holy crap um i don't know about rem i didn't i didn't see what he was charging for for the sign pictures but um 
yeah 60 bucks man that's that's a lot of that's a lot of money for a signed picture but i mean if he's going to personalize it why not well and you gotta remember that i mean he he normally attends like um indiana comic-con and um what's the big ones up in chicago it's not coming to me but i mean he's a big con guy and i'm sure he always pulls a crab right on because the power ranger community is insane but the power ranger community is insane it is huge i'm always yeah. surprised at how even after all these years how extremely popular they are and how how loved they are for the original series well and your nephew can speak volumes about it because he's he's a pretty big figurehead in that that right. section of the community so right 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 uh let's move on uh david david barclay was there and uh now he's the puppeteer correct yep, yep. and he puppeted yoda in star wars right uh what else has he done dark crystal and lab oh i fucking love labyrinth man that was a great movie david bowie oh my god great he movie puppeted david bowie <laughs> he puppeted david bowie hand up his ass and <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of great characters in that man i'm telling you you guys have seen that movie correct it's been a hot minute but i've seen it yeah i might have i might have to break that out i think i got it on dvd somewhere do i have a dvd player anywhere i don't know <laughs> <laughs> he, he did pu- he did puppet job of the hut also and oh, he really? did some work in dark crystal and little shop of horrors and then wow uh, love little shop of horrors. Who, who framed roger rabbit he did some puppeteer work. We just talked about that a few days ago. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah. Check wow. Episode 52. The Call Guys. The Call Guys. Yeah. It'll be coming up next week after this airs. <laughs> yep. Got a whole nother week. 452 comes out. The one year. Can't go wrong uh how else who else was there uh jim shooter was there so i roy did say that if gunner wanted to to meet anybody jim shooter would have been the guy to meet because he was the marvel uh editor-in-chief for so many Mm -hmm. years and i mean i'm sure that guy's got a brain to pick about just about anything he was the guy you guys should get on the call guys That'd be cool. Wouldn't that be neat? We missed our we missed an opportunity there. That's all right. Uh Tom Cook was there. Tom Cook is known for He Man, Scooby Doo, and Super Friends. Uh I'm assuming he is an artist. Does that sound about right? Yes. He was he the one that was on that one wall that your mom kept going back to? Yeah, <laughs> she kept walking up and looking. Uh, I wish she'd have bought something. I told her, whatever you want, you see something you want. Um, Stuart uh, Slager, Slag, no, Slager, Sager, Sager. I, I've tried to put an L in his last name. Sorry. Uh, what does it say? Is that say Kiss GI Joe and My Lego? Uncle. Lego Bionicle. Bionicle. Uh, once again, we're talking about a, a an artist. Then is that what we're talking about? Yeah, you're in the you're in the list of artists right now. Okay. The list of artists. Uh, Scott Rosma uh, was there from Space Ghost and Marvel DC, and he's been in Marvel and DC. It looks like it's got to be an easy bridge to keep going back and forth over. I would think, wouldn't it? Back in the day, it was when they were more independent of each other, you know, independent companies and everything. So you'd see a lot of those artists jump ship and go back and forth. Um, I don't know that it's still the same uh, competitive. Right. With Marvel being owned by Disney and DC being owned by Warner Brothers. Gotcha. And then we get into all the Comic-Con uh, or the cosplay people, uh, you know, what the Night Image was there. Eva the Green Fairy was there. Night Mage. 
night what image. <laughs> oh, there's not an eye in there. I'm a little far away from my poster here, and I'm trying. I'm trying to read my poster. What is mm. the night mage? God, see, they're gonna come kick my ass. Yeah, read probably. them off. Read them off, so I don't sound so. Night mage, um, envy the green fairy, and Seamus Smith were the three main cosplay guests. I didn't see any of them when I was there. I saw Night Mage. I didn't see the other two. We didn't get uh, into the cosplay hall this year. We just walked through. There wasn't uh, wasn't much going on in there. Not like not like last year when the whole groups were kind of hanging out at their table. Um, the Mandalorian group or the, uh, you know, those guys. There was two of them behind the booth, but neither one of them were dressed up. They were in t shirts and blue jeans. <laughs> Yeah, the Indiana Star Wars group. I can't think of what their names are, but is it the five hundred first? No, no. It's just Indiana Star Wars cosplayers or something like that. Um, was the five hundred first there this year? I didn't see him. Interesting. She Hulk was there a couple times. A couple different, oh, a couple different She Hulks were there. The one, the one girl that was in the cosplay area. She was as big as the She Hulk. T- <laughs> she was a tall girl. Oh my god! <laughs> it was funny. I, I I have this thing where I keep looking at people's shoes lately, and I look down, and I mean, she had these super white tennis shoes on. It was like, holy crap! They popped off that green. That's for sure. Uh, what else was in there? There, there. Like I said, there wasn't a ton of people in there dressed up. Most no. of everything what we saw was actually just kind of walking through the hallways and and actually in the in the con itself, people walking around. Uh, yeah. You know, there were a, a two or three Mandalorians walking around. Um, I did see a, a uh, Kylo Ren. Um, what else do we see? The freaking R two D two droids are just awesome, though. Oh my god, those are so cool. And the full size Astromex, yeah, they, yeah. They're I watched them at. wheel wheeled them out of the van when we got there. So what are they on remote control or are they like a Roomba? They're remote control. Okay. They had people sitting behind the desk at the very beginning, uh wheeling them around. Gotcha. I know those are those are just super cool to see. I uh I could just sit and watch them all day long. <laughs> Tyler's got one sitting behind him somewhere. Oh, I see it. He's right there. Scan one nine two two. One nine two two, huh? Along with my ghost. Yeah. Ghost. What's the ghost? Oh. Did I ever tell you Jared has a ghost that hooks to his Alexa? Oh really? He talks to the ghost and it it is his Alexa. Does it sound cool. like Peter Dinklage? <laughs> no. Well, Normal, normal voice, normal ghost kind of voice, yeah. <laughs> um, but other than that, I mean, you know, the con was really, it, once again, it was kind of cool. I mean, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, vendors, you know, kind of wandered around. And as you've seen earlier, you know, me and Gunnar picked up our little Lego guys. Uh, I was on the hunt for this one. This is what I wanted this year. Got myself a Harley Quinn. But damn, those daredevils were really cool. So uh, we picked up a couple daredevils. Gunner got the one with the gold helmet. I just got the old standard red helmeted daredevil. Classic, classic gold helmet. And of course, oh, that reminds me. You know, I got a Thor. Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker. And uh, Fat Thor was roaming around inside there. I saw him several times. It was pretty cool. But yeah, that... Your your mom bought herself one of those coasters, those uh, wooden grave coasters that uh, from Supernatural. It says "Carry on my wayward son." Nice. Yeah, she's zeroed on that. She had to have that, so she she picked that up. But other than that, uh, I was looking for the the bigger signs like we saw last year. Oh, then I forgot about that. Indiana yeah. with Indiana Whiskey Company was at the con this year, and yep. the. The noise had to pick up the official bottle of the con. All heroes. It's just a. I'm pretty sure it's just a. Um, it's a bourbon whiskey, but I did I did taste taste test it while I was there. Not too bad, but Scott sent me a picture of the bottle. 
and thought it was really cool, so I picked up a bottle. It is a good nice looking little, bottle. Nice little shelf for the shelf bottle. Yeah. I have to drink it and fill it with some <laughs> That's some colored water. water. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, there you go. Anything else you want to add from the con? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hot take this for a second if you don't mind. Nope, go right ahead. Hall of Heroes. Hall of Heroes. I know you're listening. We're the most greatest podcast in the land. (laughs) You guys have got to move this to a bigger location next year. There is obviously want from the community to go to this con. We've seen it the last two years. It's been packed. When a guy with a stroller is having a hard time walking down an aisle, there's a problem. Just expand them a little bit. Get a bigger place. Go to the Century Center. People are going to go regardless of where it's at. Yep, It's a great con. Just make it a little more family friendly because that's what this con is. This more is room, where, more guests. This is the one where we want to take our kids to because, you know, it's not a party con or anything like that. Right. So, so blow it up. I mean, you know, just a little bit of bigger space, make everybody happy. Especially the, the people who bring their kids. Well, let me ask you this there. uh, Okay. So do they keep it? Do they keep an Elkhart because they're an Elkhart based company? Because the Holy is, is in Elkhart. Is that why they're doing it there? And you understand what I'm getting at. If you move it to South Bend and the center center, it takes it away from Elkhart and, and that, uh, that area. So is, could you open up a, could you put it in a warehouse that's in Elkhart? Something that's a little bit uh, bigger that, uh, might work as well but keep it in your community if that's what you're that's what you're looking to do so i mean i i'd say that's probably a good assessment is that that's the reason they keep it there but man that that vendor floor is just so tightly packed yeah and um you get somebody like you a fat a fat a fat Thor. Thor walking through there, and uh, the rest of us can't get through because we're not we're not uh, skinny people either. <laughs> well, I'm not. But I mean, I'm I'm just getting at. I mean, there's there's obviously a huge want from the community for them to keep going on with this, and it's it's a great con. Just it just needs a little bit more space going forward. I agree. I agree. And then, and then that gives you the opportunity to expand your vendors a little bit more too. I mean, I'm every, every table was full. I mean, you had Indiana whiskey, you had, um, I saw t- uh, two or three different tables with, uh, with authors who set up, um, you know, and then you had all the, the kind of the odds and ends. I, I, I'm trying to think of like, was shit it was like dad's toys or something like that or you know where everything was five dollars and right you know there's just you know there's a lot of different things and you know if you open that up a little bit more um <clears throat> maybe you can get uh i don't know we stood there waiting to because like i said I, i'm looking for harley quinn a little harley quinn lego figure and if we finally see one well some guy some larger gentleman was standing right in front of it looking at him which is fine you know i'll wait my turn and everything but he was there for like 15 20 minutes while we stood there and waited and it's like jesus you know if this was expanded out a little bit more maybe i could have walked around the table and looked from the other side right. and got what i was after and it was just kind of a pain in the ass you suppose so, yeah. they'd let you suppose they'd let a podcast have a booth there i'm sure they would you just mm-hmm. gotta pay your just pay your spot fee. Right. Be like, we could do it at some place like Blueberry Festival. You just got to pay for your spot oh, fee. Yeah. They don't care oh, what yeah. it is. Hmm. Mm, uh, Chico, Chico wants to take Golden Mojo to the con. Be a good time. Are you, are you just thinking? Are you just taking the call, guys? No, I was thinking everybody. <laughs> everybody could get a turn. Why you not? know, hosting the table. 
talking about their podcast yeah i look into it see how much it is i i'd I'd go do it for a weekend yeah i imagine i imagine uh it's not too awful expensive to set up a table but you'd have to have some really good giveaways yeah yeah i agree one booth is 325 dollars for the weekend (laughs) That is the vendor booths. Artist right. alley booths are one seventy five or two hundred for the end cap. Huh? Would we be considered an artist artist booth? Yeah, I would imagine so. I mean, you're not selling a good, so I could sell my autograph. <laughs> I suppose you could probably do that. <laughs> Ten dollars. Ten dollars gets you a black and white photo of me, autographed. I'll even personalize it. What do you think? Sure. <laughs> Are you going to charge more for your Skywalker? The whole twenty-five cents, because oh, worth. <laughs> well, the actual photo is probably going to cost you more than that to yeah. print. <laughs> you get you get a one wallet size photo. <laughs> Oh, that'd be perfect. Here's a, here's this is for your wallet. Uh, I did run into Quentin Flag uh, uh, in the uh, in the con again this year. I stopped him and, and I go, "Hey," I said, "This is our once a year meet and greet. How you doing, buddy? I haven't seen you since last year's con." But uh, yeah, it was cool to see him. Uh, I did not run into a dog, and uh, he was supposed to be there, but I think they were going a little bit later in, in the afternoon. So. But that was it. That was all the people I saw there that I knew. Besides uh, our group that knew that we were all going to be there. So it's a good time. Yeah. Always a good time going to Hall of Heroes Comic Con. Enjoy it immensely. And uh, I'm looking forward again next year. Yeah. I'm, first, I'm def- first week in March. Going. Yep. I'm definitely going back again next year. And maybe they'll have somebody I want to get an autograph from, stand in line for. Never know. You don't know. Who is? Who are those people? There can't be very many of them, can there? That I would stand in line for. Yeah. Um. There are a few. I I I'd stand in line for James Masters, the guy that played Spike from Buffy. Uh, who else? Mm. Nathan mm. Fillion. Oh. I'd stand. I'd stand in fifty lines for him. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that uh, he'll ever come to the Elkhart Comic Con, but <laughs> yeah, <probably not. laughs> uh, who else? Who would you stand in line for? John Reese Davis. John Reese Davis. Gimli. Can you, huh? Gimli. You're from gonna Lord have to. The oh, gotcha. See, yeah, I'm I'm still thinking about my like 80s TV shows. Wow. <laughs> I'd, I'd stand in line for Nathan Fillion, of course. Um, the only reason I say John Rees is because uh, the one of the years we went to ICC, which is the big Indiana Comic Con down in uh, Indy, I was going to go meet him, and he had a last-minute cancellation. So I didn't get the chance to. Been there, done that. Will Wheaton. I stand in line for Will Wheaton. <laughs> Lamar Burton. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reading Rainbow. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. You know, that's the that's the thing is like they uh you know, these guys work hard to get these people um on the list and get them there and do all that stuff. Uh, you know, they're doing a great job. I mean, like I said, I, I don't know that this was as good as the panel from last year, you know, with John Heater and and uh, Emma Caulfield. And um, we I forgot his name again. The other guy that was in Hellboy and and uh, Hocus Pocus. Uh, and he, I, don't I, don't, I don't remember what his name was, but, uh, you know, that was three great ones right there. I mean, it's a matter of perspective, though, too. I mean, you know, Lou Ferrigno in, in, 
him in himself is a big draw because a lot of people love that classic Hulk. And oh yeah, I mean I've I'm never I've watched maybe three episodes of it, but I've never seen Captain America with Red Brown or. No, I definitely am not. Well, I can't say that I probably have, uh, but uh, just to recall it right off the top, I think when the I think when they were showing pictures of him on the old motorcycle, I think that's when I was like, oh, I think I remember that. Um, but you know, Johnny is a, is still a good pull too. I mean, that dude, like you said, is still in the community doing a lot of things. So, oh yeah, I mean he's 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 big right now, especially with the return of Bleach. Um, I know that's a little beyond you guys, but that's a big deal in the, the anime community. And he got to reprise his role as the main character. So, right on. Killed it. But yeah, I, I did, agree with you. Go ahead. I did read that there was a, uh, you could get a dual photo with Red Brown and Lou Ferrigno. You get the Hulk and Captain America in the same. So, well, now you cool. tell me. Not, now you tell cool. me. <laughs> what if that was like a specialty thing at a special time that you could only do that? Probably because you think know it was. You know everybody would jump on that. That's got to be huge, right? I would think so. I would too. Yeah. All right, so we did the con. Um, we did the oh, gunner got the whiskey. We got some Legos and. Uh, <laughs> What did you end up buying, Sky? Uh, I bought Legos for the kids. Aspen picked up a, a Voltron and two others. I can't remember off the top of my head. Sora got uh, Spider-Man and then a Miles Morales Spider-Man and a Scooby-Doo. Nice. And then I bought some earrings for Jessica. Very cool. Um, we did do, they had some sort of theater thing set up this year. I didn't, uh, we didn't walk all the way back there cause it was kind of, I don't know. Odd. Yes. It was just a little Awkward. weird. Yeah. And I didn't want to go back and sit and watch a bunch of movies. We were kind of ready to go get something to eat. So yeah, we, uh, we took off, um, of course, uh, you were there for an hour before we got there. Yeah. So you were gone by the time we by the time we kind of walked through and walked back and went and did this and went and did that. Yeah, I looked uh, for you guys before we left, but I wasn't gonna fight back all the way back through the crowd to find you. <laughs> Same with Nick and Amanda. It was just like I was ready to go when I was ready. Yeah, to we go. know. I never saw him. I never saw Nick and Amanda. I thought they were there with you guys. So no, they got there after we did. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, uh, we were there with, uh, Billy and Tina and Gunner, Sarah and, and me and Bobby. And that was our, uh, that was our lunch group. We headed out after the con, we headed down to Gunner. Um, McGuay's grill. Yes. <laughs> Let me, I gotta tell you about this place, man. So all the way up there. Your mother kept talking about Italian, Italian. She wanted some Italian. She wanted to know in that place in Warsaw is going to open up and, you know, she wants Italian. So uh, when Tina asked me, he's like, you guys want to do lunch? And we're like, yeah, let's do some Italian. And of course, everybody was on board. The problem was, is the two or three Italian places they knew about and liked were didn't open till like two or three hours later. <laughs> So we were like, uh, well, I mean, what else? And Billy, Billy recommended this place. And I'm like, shit, yeah, let's do it. I'm, I'm in the mood. So we headed down there. Gunner, tell yeah. us a little bit about the place. Uh, well, it's your typical Mexican restaurant, besides the fact that it's in a strip mall, <laughs> which is kind of different. But it was still a decent sized restaurant. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I can't say much more than it's. It was just your typical Mexican place, and the but the, I to be honest with you, I think the food there was almost better than any other Mexican place I've ever eaten at, and that's saying quite a bit because 
there's a lot of really good Mexican places around here. Right, right. And I have I have not been to Ranchero yet or um the other one in Bremen, so I um uh Ranchero is a little pricey, but it's good. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Say the name of the other one that's in the in in Bremen. La Paria. La Paria. Yeah, I can yeah. now always mess that up. La Paria. That is um, some good. That's some good eats there too, but yeah. Keep Carl's going. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, you know, but same, same as every other place you get in, they give you chips, salsa, and their salsa was a little cilantro heavy. So the emperor didn't really eat a whole lot of that. I was a, a little scarfing it down, scarfing it down like crazy. A little but cilantro heavy. It, 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 it was cilantro <laughs> heavy. I don't like cilantro. Their salsa is very cilantro heavy. Very but cilantro. I think that's pretty common. Yeah, I, I think, think you're you, just I, the odd I, one out. I am the odd one out. I, I, I understand that 100%. I am the odd one out when it comes to cilantro. Uh, but yeah. The actual salsa itself, there wasn't a ton of heat to it, just a little bit of a bite. And I did try it. I mean, I mean, I did try it, but uh, Billy and Tina ordered uh, the queso. So I was dipping in the queso. Yeah. And that was good too. Yeah, it was. Um, service there is pretty good. The waitress, we were there at a kind of an odd time. So it wasn't very busy. And we got, we, they sat all six of us right away and we, service was quick. There were a couple like lulls, but I mean, it wasn't bad. Um, friendly, good food yeah. overall. And Ma, what did mom get that she wanted so bad? Uh, Mary's, Mary's Harvest or what? I don't even remember what the name of it was, but it looked like a hand coming out of her plate. Because oh, no, they had, what was her appetizer? Uh, oh, uh, ceviche. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that's right. D- did you like the ceviche? Uh, it was all right. I don't know that I'd order it for myself. It's like a cold shrimp salad or cold shrimp uh, salsa. salsa. Yeah. yeah. I think, uh, you know, I didn't care much for it when we had it the first time at that wedding that she loved it. Um, but when you add the shrimp into it, you know, because they, they diced it up into smaller pieces, I think that made it uh, that made it 10 times better. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I definitely did not enjoy it. I, I liked it enough to eat a eat a couple bites and. Yeah, their their chips were really good. I like that they brought them out. They were warm, you know. Yeah, yep. I thought that was an added added nice little bonus to that. But yes, um, but mom mom had this entree that looked like a a hand with potatoes coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> the the potatoes looked like the fingers of a hand coming yeah. out. It was uh, uh, yeah, there was it was a heavy rice uh fajita dish or whatever without the without the shells um it was actually really really good i mean you know the meat was seasoned really really well and then you add that cheese and the queso on top of that you know uh yeah it was it was delicious i did the uh shrimp enchiladas uh i'm a big fan of uh shrimp enchiladas so no complaints there it was it was really really good what did you do gun uh, I had the chorizo and chicken. That's a, kind of a staple for me. It comes with queso on top, comes with a couple shells and uh, avocado salad on the side. So you get all that fixings to put on there. It's pretty much a fajita, but chicken and chorizo. Right. And delicious. I love, I love chorizo, especially when it's seasoned right. I could eat that stuff all the time. <laughs> uh, Sarah just got the two taco lunch which she it actually was quite a bit of food just for two tacos and rice and beans and right but yeah all the food was good no the yeah i didn't i didn't uh have anything besides maybe the once again you know i'm picky when it comes to my salsa mm. but other than that uh yeah i enjoyed everything that i that that i had so yeah. Uh, address actually five six zero two eight, Goshen. Well, Sweet A, yeah. Goshen, Indiana four six five two eight, and it's El Magway El Magway Grill Elkart dot com, and that's E L M A G U E Y, G R I L L, Elkart dot com. Dot com. They also have a Facebook page too, so you can go check them on the Facebook. But yeah. If you want good uh, Mexican, you're up in the area. It's the way to go. Oh my God. Yeah. I, we recommend this place. Just go check it out. Um, 
please don't overrun it with all of our viewers at one time, uh, you know, because we still like to get back up there and get in there, you know. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> just just so you guys know, that's literally two blocks from the Winona plant up there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's over We're there. We're just... about this, and I'm like, I think I've eaten here. <laughs> <laughs> it is right next to the industrial park, isn't it? Yeah. Right yep. there. Yep. Yeah, because 17 runs right uh, about a block and a half away or a block away. Yep. Jess tried to work in that same strip mall when oh, nice. Edgerton was up there. Really? Yep. Oh, that's insane, isn't it? Uh, we signed the papers for this house in that strip mall also. So, <laughs> Dang. That's the first time I've ever been to that strip mall. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Popular place on the south side Elkhart there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Love it. All right. Well, there you go. Our little uh, weekend extravaganza up to the big town of Elkhart to do the con, to do some Mexican food. Uh, yeah. Skyler's uh, uh, lunch wasn't nearly as exciting as ours as he left, but uh... <laughs> Jimmy John with some Jimmy John's, man. Oh, you love Jimmy John's. It's the one time a year that Roy gets to eat it. So that uh, he's not, he's not allowed, or his his wife doesn't like it. It's definitely the second one. <laughs> Fair but enough. It's freaky fast. Hey, you so know, good. Scotty T will not eat Jimmy John's because it's not a toasted sandwich. He just, he wants nothing to do with it. Because if I'm having a cold cut sandwich, I'll just, you know, have a cold cut sandwich at home. But I'm like, dude, no, it's not. It's different. It's different than doing that. But he's convinced. So. I don't argue with him about it. Just a, cold, just a cold cut sandwich. Okay. I'm taking this bottle back, Scott. Now you, you showed it. I'm taking it back. You don't like the freaking Jimmy John's. Uh, we did a trip down to Ball State and we was like, oh, we're going to Jimmy John's. He's like, oh, that sounds great. And they were eating there and he gets there and he wouldn't eat anything because it was it was not a grilled sandwich. And then he's like, I'm hungry. I'm like, not my problem. <laughs> that was before we knew about Peter Pit, though. That is true. That is true. Get old Pita Pit. Uh, right across the street. Yep. Oh, yeah. Missed that place. That's some good stuff. Cool. Well. Daredevil he's just, says. He's just a good lawyer. <laughs> he is a good lawyer. And he fights crime. You can't go wrong. All right, guys. That was pretty good. That was fun. Uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed Comic-Con. And uh, like I said, I look forward to uh, talking about, we'll call it Comic-Con 3 next year when we go back and do it again. So I'm, I'm super excited to to go back and do it, do it again. So anything else you guys like to talk about before we get out of here? No. All right. I think we're good. Did you agree right. 4,000 yeah. 4, downloads, guys. Let's go. Do you really think you're going to get there? Yeah, I believe in our listeners. We're almost Don't halfway. let me down. We're almost Don't halfway. Let Don't let you down. Yeah. I'm the, I'm the Jedi. <clears throat> Force choke here or something. <laughs> Whatever I have to do. <laughs> well, I did get us a couple new listeners. Uh, my buddy Chuck Josie, uh, you know, and uh, Steve Damon both have uh, called and texted me, or yeah, called and texted me about listening to Golden Image. So uh, shout out to them for you know listening and going back and checking out some of the older episodes, and and hopefully they can uh, get into this week's episode also. So I'm pr I'm I'm pretty excited. Very, we are getting new viewers. We're constantly working as as best we can to try to let people know about us and get it get us out there we're still a small yeah. podcast but man we love doing this shit this is so much fun yes we do <laughs> we go do things so you'll want to go do things and with that gunner you got my, you got my socials <laughs> yes 
Everybody, thank you for listening to Golden Image Podcast. You can find us wherever you get your podcasts, whether that be Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, wherever you get your podcast. You can also find us on all your favorite social media accounts, especially our Facebook, facebook.com slash golden image podcast. And if you want to get a hold of us, let us know where you want us to go visit, what you want us to do, go see. Just send us an email, goldenmojoent at gmail.com. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear what else there is to do around us that's fun and would be a good weekend or good day out. So, and that and that brings up why we went to the Mexican restaurant. You know, someplace we didn't know about, and uh, you know, we took the re- recommendation of Billy and Tina. Definitely was yeah. not disappointed. Definitely, not. definitely good. But yeah, so yeah, once you're done listening to us, go check out all the other podcasts under the Golden Mojo Entertainment Network of podcasts, whether that be The Call Guys, uh, The United States of Paranormal, um, Murd Nerds, Indiana Chiefs Fans, which is now on hiatus for a couple months, and A Court of Books and Booze. I'm yes. Every, your podcast. Skyler's okay. thinking I missed something. I didn't miss yeah, anything. Yeah, I missed about it. No, he got them. He got them all. And you never know what might be coming next for the Golden Mojo Entertainment Podcast Network of Podcasts. You just never know. I don't think our three editors can handle it. I think it's too much, guys. (laughs) Wait, you're editing one podcast. Oh, my God. And it's a pain. (laughs) Once these videos start coming out, it's going to. Yeah, I, I'll send you all the clips for 52. I'll let you edit that down. Yeah, so, edit that for a while. Good God. I don't even want to edit that. I've got, I've got Premiere Rush, so I'll just <laughs> throw it all together and send it back to you real quick. Man, <sighs> I'm telling you, once you get into a groove, once you get like 10 episodes edited and you get in that groove, you'll you'll be like, oh, I'll just knock this out real quick. Build a template. And yeah. Go to town. Yep, for sure. I've already hit the point where I'm just like, nah. That can stay. It is <laughs> yep. yep. There's a lot of that as you grow. That first couple episodes, you're taking out every um, bo- uh, the yeah, lip lip smack, uh, deep breath. You, you all that stuff goes, and then by the time you get to episode ten, you're like, nah, screw it. That can stay. <laughs> I edited. I'm I'm working on our episode four right now, and I edited out the worst voice crack I've ever heard from myself. <laughs> <laughs> My voice shot eight octaves, and you mean that you're editing the episode that comes out this Friday? Yeah, totally. Okay, I'm to get it, hopefully, have to do you could tomorrow. be ahead. You could be ahead. Yeah, I've been working on my house, but I don't have time to sit down and edit. <laughs> whatever. I got a phone call from the other day. He's up there taking a nap on his roof. So yeah, what? That's whatever. true. That's true. <laughs> I was I was sealing those windows, and I I leaned down. And my foot kicked off the edge of the roof. I was like, oh, this is it. I'm going to (laughs) die. This is the end. Um, All right, guys. Good job. Uh, Thank you for uh, taking the time to hang out with me and uh, tell all of our listeners about cool things to go do. Appreciate it. You got it. And on that, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Later. Golden image. Oh, I finally got a crap this game. Rock on! <laughs>